Hello, ladies and gentlemen. A very good evening. It's a, a, a special episode of Money Means Business. It's our coverage of uh, the many events which took place today, particularly the second day of the voting process of our Egyptian expats, as well as the activities of President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi in Dubai as he is participating in the COP28 and also in the celebrations of uh, the United Arab Emirates with uh, their uh, Unity Day or uh, their Independence Day. Well, uh, to shed more light on the events, we are very much delighted to have with us live here in the studio, Dr. Ahmed Osama Abu Duma, our international political expert. Thank you very much for being with us, sir. My pleasure. And uh, let's start immediately. As, uh, as I said, um, Egyptians abroad are drawing such um, I would say a civilized scene flocking to uh, the embassies and consulates of Egypt in 121 countries to cast their votes and to choose the, their future, to choose the coming president of Egypt in the presidential elections. And um, even uh, I had the opportunity to have um, um, phone calls with some expats uh, and um, they said that maybe in, in, in all the Western countries the weather is too bad but uh, um, hundreds if not thousands of Egyptians were very much keen to go to participate to share and to practice this constitutional right if you please sir elaborate on that um, actually it's um, a very good sign to find our um, um, Egyptian uh, brothers and sisters abroad and uh, all of uh, the people who participated in the election and with a very civilized uh, and uh, showing their loyalty for Egypt not only just voting and go home no it was like just a demonstration of love for our home country it's uh, an appreciation for our uh, President Al Fattah Sisi, which is they in many interviews I was uh, following up what how it, it uh, the voting um, process was, and uh, as you mentioned with s ladies, with youth people, uh, old people uh, from different kind of uh, of categories, ages, uh, we have uh, that they feel the responsibility and the importance of, the, of, the, of their participation in the election. Yes, because and it, it turned is to be a festival. I, mm. I heard that from many of our, um, our guests via phone when they said they turned to be a festival. I mean, with the women and with families going with their children, with their kids carrying the Egyptian flags and listening to patriotic songs. And um, the, uh, I can say that uh, this is sending a message to the whole world how much the Egyptians abroad are still living in Egypt with their hearts and minds. Uh, actually, we are the Egyptians, whatever, uh, who are staying or living abroad all of his life or even if we are going traveling for a, a business or job or doing or conferences Egypt is still is in your heart you cannot you cannot find yourself that you are leaving Egypt mm -hmm. uh, whatever if they are more uh, uh, countries mo is from the first world world and different than our country but Egypt Everyone is belonging to his home and to his place. Uh, love it and wishing and looking and trying to make it the best as he and she can to make the best for our country. So the festival for these to show people abroad that they are Egyptians, that they are proud of our of country, being Egyptians, of being Bible. Egyptians. Yeah. Even even people, they have double nationality, but by the end of the way, they like their origins. It, it comes from here. So this um, participation is very important because our uh, country uh, are facing now a very important critical time and as uh, we know that the 
war is around us from all every side. Every side. Yeah. So to back your people in Egypt to participate and to support and the participation percentage could with 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 be a better percentage in a fair election so it gives more support to the, our president to continue with to our president whoever is he because is, when okay. we speak about yeah, sure. our president our coming president he is going to be one of the four contenders yes and when we do speak about presidential candidate abdel fattah sisi is totally different than president abdel fattah sisi as we are going to cover his activities today in the uae sir um, it was said more than once by all the contenders that it's not important um, um, who you are going to vote for. It's more important even going to the voting centers and vote. Practicing this constitutional right, it's a duty and a right in the same time. How do you see this as stressed by all the contenders and by all even the political analysts who uh, asked the Egyptians not to be negative anymore and this was reflected in the uh, flow of or the turnout of the egyptians participating in this electoral process knowing well that now their vote counts their opinion or their vision counts how do you see this uh, this uh, challenge for uh, the egyptians all of them um, maybe in this election it is different mm -hmm. uh, because the situation is different uh, uh, i remember 2019 there are a participation and we encouraged people to work on the amendment of the constitution to allow the president of fatah sisi to run again because he took the two rounds this time uh, and this right people yes they must have their own opinion and to say it by voting if they don't even to did it, he didn't approve anyone from the four but they have to him he or she must vote and put her opinion it counts why because the egyptians now in a challenge we are the Egyptians, all of us, in a challenge, in a big challenge with the war, war around us. We have to be aware of the security of our country. We have to rise up the moral and loyalty and for our country sense of belonging to the nation because it's not only about the wars outside um, on on our border sir if you permit me to add to uh, what you've kindly mentioned food security is a war the nile river issue is another national it's security an, it's matter. another uh, yes. national security matter and when it comes to the challenges facing the whole world, COVID-19 was a challenge, the Ukrainian crisis, Russian crisis was a challenge, now the Gaza, uh, uh, the Gaza uh, unbearable sufferings um, is, is, um, is another challenge. So uh, maybe I, it's better to say the challenges by all means, mm -hmm. or the war by all means. The war in Russia and Ukraine bring shortage in a lot of um, um, primary needs, kinds of food and seeds. Supply chain, Sup supply chain energy, and we're uh, about winter. So yes. what's going to happen even in the West? This, so is, this is a part. And actually, we have also inside Egypt, we have the inflation. So we have to work more uh, the government trying to help uh, we have uh, challenges but the president tried hardly to make a lot for developing developing the 
for environment, for uh, the um, for the healthcare, and uh, and for developing the villages. But in the same time, we have the big challenge in Egypt is corruption. Mm -hmm. We have to fight the corruption now. It's just we have to to ha to find the stability of our country and to mean it and to have the stability of Egypt and after that we need a strategic plans and actions and more listening from the people around uh, the president who will gonna be after the results of the election mm -hmm. to not to be like the gates filtering any ideas or new ideas let he, let let I our voice let the voice what's going on on the ground cannot be hidden anymore even yes. with social media nothing can be hidden anymore and i think egypt in the past 10 years we followed this transparency goal transparency was a goal and it was achieved on the ground at least let's say 90% because if there anything which can be hidden from the cabinet you would find today, for example, and this, all, um, this, this uh, took place by chance. Prime Minister Dr. Mustafa Madbouli was in Sadat City yes. to inspect uh, the um, uh, housing uh, project. So he would meet face to face with the layman in the street. Yes. And this is um, implemented by President Sisi, I think, every Friday with his tour. He's already so doing this. Uh, suddenly and people suddenly find the president between <laughs> them yeah. talking asking and uh, trying to get more information from the people themselves mm -hmm. and that's that's very very important and what he's doing is, is really appreciating and I mean that even today uh, for the prime minister he uh, was in Salat uh, uh, city and he visited the industrial area mm -hmm. and new new factories started to, to work that's very good we need more and more and more so we are keep moving just we are moving in a harmony together so we can do a lot Egypt is full of talented people Egypt is full with all of the resources it needs Egypt is unique in a lot of things it has it by nature that's a gift from God, from, for Egypt. So just we have to be in a harmony, how to, to put everyone in the right side who can play his role in the first, in the, in the, in the, and, and to, 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 to have it enjoying your work and succeeded and, 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 and doing that. How to build bridges abroad like the president did during in the in the in the uh, during the the past time all all the time and now even uh, with his attendance in the COP28. This is something which we are going to uh, to uh, uh, to cover when we are covering his activities there. But sir, one final question regarding the uh, presidential elections before going into um, the uh, coverage or our coverage to the presidential activities in uh, Dubai in the United Arab. Emirates. Well, sir, um, the, um, the um, presidential elections 2024, as you've kindly mentioned, uh, um, is coming in a very critical time. Yeah. We are uh, living, I'm, uh, here I'm not speaking about Egypt, the whole world is living, is living in very critical timing. Yeah. And the, uh, um, the, uh, the Egyptians knew that well. How do you see uh, the Egyptian awareness? regarding the coming period and uh, how do you see also the NEA's um, continuous uh, press conferences talking to the Egyptians as the National Elections Committee, a committee is very much aware that the Egyptians now are very much aware of the surroundings, are very much aware of what's going on and um, the uh, committee following the uh, or the operation rooms following the voting process is in all, all the time is uh, continuous contact with our embassies and consulates all over the world to make sure that everything is going that smooth and that the electoral process is going that smooth. Tell me about that. 
Uh, well, um, the Egyptians abroad, uh, even with this kind of uh, uh, media, important trial for encouraging them to participate, they are already aware maybe more than people are living in Egypt because they are following up the news, following up Egypt every, uh, on a daily basis. I'm not talking about only Egyptians, but even every, every one from any c country, while we are abroad in a conference, everyone is looking back for what's going in his country. So, but now, um, everybody know that we have inflation worldwide, we have food crisis, we have a lot of challenges, we have uh, we, ha we need a political reform, we need a political international responsibility to be done and to be, uh, to, to, ha to be a a have a credit and to be credible to the people worldwide. It's not enough to find that uh, all of crime scenes everywhere and just we are condemned that we are sorry for that we are willing uh, to do that uh, that would not gonna happen uh, we are just uh, um, 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 uh, they must uh, uh, do the solution that will not happen with words it's the time of action here is one of the big challenges like we have uh, um, in this time and we can't deny the situation that uh, you find uh, just uh, uh, we are fight but take care of, of the civilians mm -hmm. while hundreds of people of civilians unarmed not fighting they are just sleeping in the streets. They don't have food. They don't have any kind of... Displaced, uh, uh, deprived displaced. from their basic needs, you name it. Now we need humanity. We need mercy from people. We need the decision makers who are meeting in COP28 and in the summit of the UN or whatever summits they have it. Or, and the UN itself to must be develop its, itself from the, the, the body. We need their role to be done. Mm -hmm. They have the UNIFIL army is to protect people from this kind of civil wars is happening or, or any kind of, uh, or to stop war between people. But even they got striked but no one moved to say that there are international uh, uh, military of the UNIFIL the from the United Na Nations to uh, was repeated this, by Egypt so many times this responsibility is very important. Why we ask people to participate in the election and they are looking for and even who are abroad looking for his country that he, if he ca could be back that's better for him or the life will be um, more tough some people they don't like to be abroad but they, they maybe his situation forced him to find better better opportunities abroad mm -hmm. so this needs actions needs to build bridges like we building are bridging with them now and uh, through the uh, the media and and through the participation and the embassies there are a lot of opportunities they must you have them like the ambassadors and your civil abroad how to support them how to give them the rights if there are any of uh, um, challenges they have there so a lot of things needs to be developed in the future. So the, the president will, who will gonna be elected this time, he will continue 
or he will take the he role, will build he on will what build was achieved on what already achieved on already the and in the same time facing a lot of serious challenges, needs, actions, needs changing in some policies, needs modifying some policies let's say yes. to cope with the, the surroundings yes well um, uh, uh, let's go to the Suez Canal and to enjoy together this report as the revenues of the Suez Canal increased significantly recently and um, we do have some numbers and statistics we are going to turn back right after this to continue with our coverage so stay tuned Welcome back, and as we promised, we are going to uh, cover the activities of President Abdel Fattah Sisi, which took place yesterday and today in the United Arab Emirates, particularly in Dubai. And the head of the state uh, participated in the COP28, along with approximately 200 leaders coming from all over the world to participate in the UN Climate Change Summit. And earlier on Thursday, uh, Foreign Minister Samir Shukri handed the presidency of the uh, COP or the uh, UN Climate Change Summit to the United Arab Emirates, Egypt claimed the presidency of the uh, Climate Change Summit for a whole year since uh, we, um, we hosted the COP27 Summit in the Ritzy Resort of Sharm el-Sheikh with, with just a vast international contribution and uh, uh, participation. Sir, 
Before going into the speech of the president in front of uh, the COP28, uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, the distinguished ties that bind Egypt and the United Arab Emirates. As President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi participated today in the celebrations of the United Arab Emirates with its National Day, congratulated, congratulating sorry, his UAE counterpart with this very special day in the modern history of the UAE. Sure, and uh, uh, there are um, a special relationship between the UAE and Egypt. And in the same time, our President Fatah al-Sisi has a very special um, appreciation uh, relationship uh, with, with uh, the President uh, Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed. Yeah. And um, before in the past, their father already, Sheikh Zayed, was uh, sure. one of the wiser uh, leaders mm -hmm. in the Arab world. So, uh, and uh, there are harmony between them and also our president having many uh, good relationships and in appreciated. All uh, yeah, everywhere mm -hmm. with, uh, with his counterparts, everywhere, uh, kings or majesties or uh, they rep respect him. He is respecting, uh, he's really, uh, we are proud of our president in these uh, international conferences and he represents Egypt in the, in the best way. Uh, made us like, you see, uh, the Egyptians now, um, even his role uh, and uh, with the team, Egyptian team, uh, in the crisis in the middle of the war and the, the, the role of Egypt, we can deny that how efforts could done and be done and still done uh, to, to, to find uh, solutions. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and the, 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 the United States and Israel also, and worldwide, the EU representatives, uh, the, 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 all of the people there from um, the counterparts representing their countries, uh, the Vice President uh, Kamala Harris uh, of the United States, um, they met uh, our president and all of them were there, were there in the uh, in, in the COP twenty eight. Yeah. So, but his, his, the, the, uh, the attendance of Egypt um, it reflects like the united uh, harmony between Egypt and the UAE. And um, also um, representing our vision regarding climate change as, for example, in the uh, um, speech of the president in front of COP28, President Sisi reiterated Egypt's keenness to launch many paths which would help meet the aspirations, particularly, particularly of developing states on climate, the top of which is the establishment of damages and loss fund, fair transition program in relation to an action program for decreasing carbon emissions. All the time, the head of a state is keen to speak about developing countries mm -hmm. and to launch new paths, new initiative, not to forget at all that Egypt is a key player, having all the time a pivotal um, positive role regionally and internationally. How do you see the repetition of such uh, concepts or statements by the president in many occasions and here particularly in front of the COP28 summit? Um, our president's speeches is, um, uh, is, is, as you mentioned, he, he launched our, uh, uh, the, p the previous conference was in Sharm el Sheikh mm -hmm. in Egypt. So we are, con he's continuing and encouraging and he's working in, in, in all directions. Uh, and the, the, the climate change is one of the big challenges worldwide. Uh, about the, human, the, the humanitarian security, uh, the uh, life of people, um, the health. Uh, so um, the, this, this issue is not like people were taking it, um, who, who doesn't understand very well what does it mean. It means like that this climate change which changes the weather that will could could bring out 
um, uh, uh, maybe lesser of 30% of lands um, uh, productions for food. Mm -hmm. So we have to work for the food um, security for people. So the president is, is aware of this and his em, em, empowerment and his, uh, his, his leading uh, in developing in Egypt. Mm -hmm. We can deny that a lot of major projects, it happened in Egypt and in agriculture, uh, trying the best to uh, give uh, the partnership uh, just a few days ago uh, uh, with Oman we have two uh, um, new uh, agreements with the We're pharmaceutical the time, and, to sign and, more and agreements the agriculture with our allies and yeah, all of the time and to exchange and expertise uh, yes, also yes and in decent life initiative itself we are trying to have this decent life initiative in Africa in yes, all Africa yes particularly yes. with the states which share the very same circumstances like us in Egypt well sir you mentioned Kamala Harris mm -hmm. um, the American vice president met with President Sisi but this is one of many meetings President Sisi made on the sidelines of his participation in the COP28 summit in uh, Dubai. Sir, yesterday it was uh, Richie Sunak, the Prime Minister of the UK, yeah. um, French President Emmanuel Macron, uh, um, IMF uh, um, uh, Executive um, um, Chief uh, Kristalina uh, Georgieva, um, Bahraini King Hamad bin Isa, Mursa Faqi, EU Commissioner. I'm not. I cannot. Uh, I cannot count all of them. And today, um, their Armenian, uh, Lithuanian counterparts, in addition to Georgia Maloney, Prime Minister of Italy, Sami Hassan, um, the President of Tanzania. But the President was keen with all those leaders to mention the Palestinian cause, to discuss the latest developments in Gaza to renew the Egyptian stance regarding the Palestinian cause as the cause of the causes and to continue with supporting the Gazans um, uh, in front of this unbearable suffering they have against the Israeli aggression. How do you see mentioning Palestine, mentioning Gaza in all these meetings with all those leaders? Our president of Fatah Sisi actually um, I'm very proud of all of what he had done uh, with these efforts and mentioning Palestine even in the climate change mm -hmm. who are uh, bring, uh, bringing out uh, of the results that they will bring 30 uh, billions for development the uh, climate change and uh, same time I found uh, with uh, all of my respect our president is talking to Kamala Harris uh, and uh, they, 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 they refused he refused he and the King Abdullah to meet of Jordan of Jordan the second to, to meet the, with uh, Joe Biden the president once he kept, was coming to visit and saying that we are coming for war, so they have no need to sit together. In this climate change, and after a lot of diplomatic meetings with uh, the Secretary uh, Blinken, who left a few days ago, the, the maybe uh, yesterday or uh, the day before, uh, the, 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 the region, with Kamala Harris and with all of these leaders worldwide, his voice matters. Mm -hmm. His voice, the voice of Egypt in this uh, situation and international um, conference matters. That building peace and securing the life of people uh, from being out, not out of housing, 
they are just receiving bombs uh, with no reason. Mm -hmm. they, there are no, they, they have no crime to, to be punished for except they are from this place. Mm -hmm. So his, 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 his words means we have to find the solution and the solution is already, um, we can just modify if they have uh, any things, if they want peace, um, the Arab Peace Initiative with supported with from the Arab International League. International legitimacy. From the yeah. 2001 and 2002 and the international legitimacy, they said that, but they, here what we need is not just talks, we need actions. Great, but when the um, uh, when uh, presidential spokesperson Ahmed Fahmi said that particularly after the meeting of President Abdel Fattah Sisi and Kamala Harris, the U.S. Vice President, when they said that Kamala Harris said it that clear that the United States is not going to accept by any means the relocation of the Gazans and it's time to gather the West Bank and Gaza under one leadership, meaning that there is a leadership and there is Palestine. Yes. To have this concept and to have these statements released after the meeting with the president, I think this is saying a lot. This is valid. And this is saying a lot of President Biden himself. All of his years in the political career was calling for the two-state solution. But he didn't do that right now. But we are looking that with more, you will find out, excuse me, just to say that in the first beginning of the first week, I, 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 I was here in the, in the Nile TV. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I, I send a message to the world uh, leaders and uh, abroad under the presidency of our president, Fattah Sisi, I said, please, if you, we, let us try to change the worst case situation of war to the best solution, which having two state solution and peace building between the two countries. And we can do that if the United Nations, if the, Uni the United States, if the Israeli people themselves... Yes or no question, sir? Yes. This can be implemented on the ground in the presence of Benjamin Netanyahu as Israeli Prime Minister? Yes or no question? He is a criminal. <laughs> yes or no question? Yes or no? Uh, first of all, I couldn't trust him. He is a criminal. He has a lot of corrupted... Uh, things in the court, so he want to stay in the, in the cabinet for more time as he can. He want to, uh, uh, he think that the Israelis are stupid enough that he is killing more to get more votes or responsibility. No. The Israelis are looking to live in peace. And there are demonstrations against Netanyahu himself. In the polling and pressures from the families of the hostages in too. The polling, in the so polling of his uh, uh, publicity, Netanyahu is losing, and even Joe Biden is losing, and the Americans also are blaming the uh, the, the president for what's happening, and all of these billions for what. Whom you are you are facing you are facing Hamas. It's just uh, a, a, a group of defenders. The taxpayers in all, all over the world they do have the right to ask where their money uh, is going. But okay. sir, uh, if you please, I'd like to return back, if you permit me, to the um, uh, the um, statements or the the statements released by the president in in uh, in this occasion in the COP28 and in his meetings okay. when he renewed the Egyptian stance and the reactions of Rishi Sunak of Britain of Emmanuel Macron of France of Georgia Maloney of Italy. 
Is this meaning that all those Western leaders were very much keen to listen to the Egyptian vision yes. and to share the Egyptian vision regarding this vital issue? And if yes, what is the coming step? The coming step you will find, first of all, Macron will start initiating for stop this they crossed the truce and the violence started again and in one day a lot of more than uh, 100 people died and hundreds are today uh, 200 what, uh, in one day I mean every, yeah, yeah. every day okay every day you have more mm. so uh, he, his initiative and the worldwide will start to push against what's happening now. Now, just Israel is trying to, I don't mean the Israeli or Jewish people, but I mean what are the leaders of war just want to uh, br bring, uh, destroy more victims, mm -hmm. destroy a lot of people, kill more people um, uh, until we will have a solution. Mm -hmm. So, yes, they will listen to, the, to Egypt and to uh, our president, uh, words and uh, many of them even uh, mentioned uh, declare, declared that they, they, they will are, they are against the uh, the uh, place, uh, displacement uh, forced displacement of uh, the Palestine people from people. Gaza and Palestine even inside Palestine yeah, itself. Again, the displacement of Palestinians, and whether inside or outside their territories, yes. so, this is it. So this is the, sol the solution, and Egypt matters worldwide, and they know the value of, e of Egypt. Amen to that, sir. Well, Dr. Uh, um, Ahmed Osama Abu Duma, our international political expert, thank you very much for your input, sir. Thank you. And by this, we come to the end of this coverage. And now we are going to go to the special report covering the meeting of President Abdel Fattah Sisi with IMF uh, Kristalina Georgieva on the sidelines of uh, COP28 Summit, which is taking place in Dubai. Many thanks for watching. With all my love, this was Nirmina Abdurrahman.